in real life was Sonny a good man? Meaning when you're you're Robert Kiyosaki writes a book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, right? Yeah. And he says, My dad was uh poor, but I met this one guy that played the role of my dad and he was a rich dad and mm. my dad followed all the rules, got the degree, got a regular job, but this rich dad was a business guy, investor, real estate, all these other yeah. things, and I followed my rich dad, not my poor dad, right? Right. It, it, when you look at the life between Sonny and your pops, mm. was Sonny good for society? Was Sonny a good man? Was he doing the right thing, Sonny? You know, that's what makes A Bronx Tale so different and so why people want to see it. Sonny was telling me exactly the same things as my father. Mm. You have to realize that. So, w- this is not Goodfellas. Goodfellas is brilliant a movie as it is. They wanted the kid to be a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Sonny was saying, don't be, don't be like me. Mm-hmm. Do something with your life. Mm-hmm. Make, you, you know, if you've got talent, do something. Yeah. Now, I, I thought about this as I got older. I could be totally off, but I always thought that I was Sonny's penance. Where, in other words, right. he was saying to himself, if I'm going to do one thing that's right in this friggin' world, yeah. I'm going to make sure this kid don't go under. Interesting. You know, now that's my... Is what a that, way now, I've seen it. Just yeah. to be clear, are you talking about the character or are you talking in real, real life? life? Oh, real life. Real, real life. life. Real life, yeah. yeah. Well, he says yeah. in the movie, all yeah. your friends you're hanging out with, they're, half of them are going to end they're up dead or in jail. Oh, they're they're all that's, that's yeah. the, what, that is my actual yeah. favorite scene in the movie yeah. where he grabs them yeah. out of the, right. where he grabs them out, out of the, the car. car. That's yeah. Yeah. Ace and the other guys actually look up to Sonny. You're like, hey, Sonny, we're going to go do the... If I ever see you with these guys again... I mean, right. that's power. The things right that there. he says, you think you're a tough guy? He goes, you think having a gun makes you a tough guy? Yeah. He goes, it's when the other guy has a gun. Now we see what a real tough guy is. Mm. And you go, oh, wow, he's right about that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, but the thing about Sonny was he wasn't black or white. He was gray. And my father was gray. Mm-hmm. So it was these two forces. Interesting. Gray you know, versus gray. Gray versus gray. Not black versus yeah. white. Yeah. It wasn't evil and good. Right. They were both. They both had great qualities. Depth of character, but, but, yeah. The bottom line is Sonny was a killer. Sonny would kill you. you know. But he was a great guy, and he was funny. People are not just so. That's why Robert Cole in The Moral Intelligence of Children talks why children go, but why children study a Bronx Tale, because they go, well, but wait a minute, but Sonny wanted him to do well. Mm-hmm. And what Robert Cole was saying in his book, he goes, sometimes good and evil is not so easily recognized. Yeah. It's not so delineated. You have to look at it and study what's hmm. behind it. And that's what makes Bronx Tale so different. That's, that's Chaz, what's great about your dad, though? What was great about your pops? My dad, which, which was incredible, was I couldn't tell my dad, even though he was on the bus, he, he loved, he, he worked with, with, with black people, and he was kind to them and wonderful. And they loved him because he would always talk to them, and they always helped him. He didn't want, I knew it, wouldn't bo- it would bother him if I dated a black girl. Hmm. I knew it would. Huh. I knew it would. And I think the reason why... It's a product of the times. It was a product of the times, 1968. It was insane in 1968. Yeah, race riots. Race there. riots. Ro- Kennedy got assassinated. Ro- uh, Martin Luther King got... I think when I got older, I asked him that question when I got older. I said, Dad, you know, I did date a black girl. I said, why? He goes, I know you wouldn't tell me. He goes, I figured you were. And I, and I said, why were you upset about that? Why you didn't like that? He goes, I was afraid for you. Because of my love for you, that I didn't want you to go through that. It had nothing mm. to do with her, but in a way it did, he says. I just, as a son, you didn't want your child to go through yeah. what he's about to face. So I understood that where Sonny was different, he was like, hey, black, white, what's the difference? Go ahead. Interesting. Morality, you know, yeah. Morality. So, so with, with, with you being, uh, do we have the clip with Rudy or no? The, the clip, uh, do you have that where he talks about the Italian family or no? Uh, uh, Kai, you're looking at me like a doctor, like you're confused. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> you do have it or you don't have it? Kai, I'm got just happy we on. can see No, no, you, Kai today with his here. glasses. Yeah. No joke. Kai, you look like a professor at Harvard, maybe Wharton Business School. I'm That's what. Oh, what? what? Look. You're going for what? Carl from accounting. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> you got the look. It's, it, it, works it, it works for you. It works for you. Pat, that gray area thing, that's very interesting. Is that what attracts you to, to the mafia genre? I, I, mean, be, I, I think business is gray. I think business is gray. I think leadership is gray. I think parenting is gray. I think, I think it's very hard for a black and white person to make it in business. I think it's very hard for a black and white person to make it in many different industries. Because it, here, here's a challenge. Like... You know how he talks about the whole $20, uh, uh, the Bronx tail, and you say the $100,000 with me, 
it's not the hundred thousand dollars. It's the fact that your mind is consumed with the thought of that guy that has your money. Yeah, that sucks your yeah. energy yeah. out, yeah. right? So, the gray part. If somebody's in the gray, they understand it. They're like, it's part of the game. I got to move on. The black and white part is you have to go get that money back. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're so stuck on the principle of the fact right. versus the gray is like, let it go. You right. need that energy, put it here, mm -hmm. make 10 million rather than trying to consume so much time. So, no, I, I think on the business side, I had, by the way, you learn gray the hard way. You don't learn it the, 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 mm. the, the, the uh, yes. easy way. It comes with experience. That's not something that you can read a were, book were on the gray. Were you black and white at one point, my and then you had to— My dad's a black and white guy. My, my dad raised me— uh, uh, you, Good and you, evil. You, you, you met my dad. My dad is very, you know, strong personality that he has, but he's got a sweet side the to him as well. The sweetest guy. Yeah, he, guy. he does. Yeah, I mean. but, but let me tell you, my dad's a high-standard guy. It's like— you know, you, you say one time to him you're going to do something. I swear to God, if you don't do it, yeah. he's going to call you a hundred times about it. But I had mm -hmm. to learn on the business side, you, it's very complicated. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.